done a couple of collaborations with Super E and they decided to do they wanted to do a third with us and they sent these they call them work lights they're little pod I call them off-road lights and we are going to install these on our new to us Jeep Gladiator so here's the lights little pod lights get a little tool kit and some bolts some brackets specifically for these lights a whole bunch of wiring with the switch it's all ready to go we're hoping this is going to be a simple install now for our specific vehicle we were able to find these brackets on Amazon and we purchased these and we're going to install those first and then we'll mount the lights with their little brackets to these. We are going to mount the brace for the pod onto the bracket that we're going to put on the vehicle first. That way I, th I think the picture shows that this mounting bolt for this brace is the other way. Well, we don't want this poking down. We want this to be the down part, and then the taller part can be up above. So we're going to put this on, and then we'll mount this to the truck. Like it's on there good. Yep. Now we gotta just hook up and mount the lights. This one's a little more challenging. I can't see it. <laughs> That's just cute. Well, that looks pretty good. Now we did the passenger side exactly the same way that we did the driver's side. Figured you didn't want to see it probably twice. It's the exact same thing. All right, we have one end here. This one goes up, it of course splits. The split goes over to the passenger side and this goes up in here and it is clipped together with this wire that come down in. That was a treat. But what was a little bit worse that we, and we wanna make sure you are aware that, I don't know if it's just a gladiator thing or what, but the wire that came from over there that's supposed to hook to this light was too short. So, Jesse split spliced us not split jesse spliced the wire on this and added new wire same color code and everything and we're gonna put new little 
ends so that they will clip into, I've lost my other end, here it is, so that they will clip into these like they are supposed to. So that, it, it, otherwise it would have basically been kind of just, you know, mount them and plug them in and then of course you got to hook it to the battery and we haven't done none of that yet. But we had to add an extra probably close to a foot of wire just so we could make these reach. We ran the wires right along the back and we tucked in there and they're over here and then the thing is the way we had to run this we had to run and I think this might be made for batteries on the driver's side of the vehicle so we had to run it back over and put so that we can hook it up to the battery which we have not done yet we're we just have it all kind of piled over here but we got everything run and all the wires up out of the way tucked away nicely I think We've talked about it. I think we're going to just go ahead and put the switch under the hood. We can't use them legally on the highway or anything like that. The only time we would be using them is if we were off-road. So we can just get out, pop the hood, flip the switch, turn the lights on, and there we go. I think that probably will work okay. Yeah. Plus, I don't want to try to find a hole, and I'm not going to make a hole. And I don't want to mount anything to my new Jeep on the inside like that. I don't, I don't want to make any holes. I don't want to... And we, this particular model does not have the um, auxiliary. auxiliary on the inside where you could just plug in. Out here. Yeah, and it would be ready with a button. So we're going to leave the switch out here. So we're almost done. We're going to hook the battery hook it up to the battery we'll test it make sure it works and then when it's dark we can take it out and see how well the little lights work yep. got it all wired to the battery which was really easy because all you have to wire or do is hook your your ground and your hot wire over you know on the other side you've got an inline fuse which we kind of tucked down there's a relay for this too and then here's our switch. We haven't quite figured out where we're going to put it, but for right now, I just want him to flip it on here in a sec and let you see these lights. There you go. So you can kind of see the one over there on the other side is lit up, and then this one's lit up. They look pretty bright. We will definitely take you out when it gets dark and show you what it looks like in the dark. <laughs> there's our dims. Okay, then there's our brights. We're going to stop like right here and we're going to show you what it looks like from this to turning on our off-road lights. All right, there is the off-road lights. So you can see that does kind of, well, you can really, really see the bugs. We're a buggy state. Wow, look at the bugs in front of that one. That's crazy. But it does kind of go off I, it goes way up there I think it makes a little bit of a difference we'll go ahead and turn them back off and see what they look like with them off again and there you go that's with them off again so it does make quite a bit of difference you can actually see quite a bit better it actually lights things up quite a bit more that's kind of nice. I like that. I'm about to go off like a weapon. Fuel to the top, got to fill the benches. In my thoughts obsession, I will not stop, no, I'm never second guessing. I got a god complex, haters love to hate, but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate, but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm facing this test. Oh, tear it up like I'm chasing. I see the world like it's ready for the taking. I